Welcome to Nature. My name is Dr. Lawrence Luhanga. On this channel, I'll be talking about nature, wildlife, ecology, tourism, wilderness, and exploration. In this episode, I want to talk about the love beds. The love beds in Malawi are found in Luonde National Park. I engage Dr. Tuwongi Gawa, who is an ethologist and also a specialist of this bed. I started asking Dr. Gawa why does she love the love beds so much? They are special. I mean, love beds in, in general are special to the continent of Africa, so you only find them on mainland Africa and uh, in Madagascar. And the Lilian lovebirds itself is, is the smallest of the nine species of lovebirds that we have. It's found in the Zambezi sort of region. So here in Malawi, it's found here uh, in one National Park, which is almost the top most uh, of its distribution. And then you go down to a little bit Zambia, and Luangwa and Zambezi and then uh, in, in uh, Zimbabwe, along, along the Zambezi again, and in Mozambique as well. So it has a very specific distribution. It is true what we call a true Mopani specialist. So it lives in Mopani, it, bu it breeds in Mopani woodland. So Mopani woodland is very important to it. And at the moment, Mopani woodlands are, are disappearing from people clearing it out. You've heard of the cases here in Malawi where People have gone into places and just cleared out all Mopani. And Mopani is what we call Tanya, which people value for charcoal a lot and also for timber. So it's wanted in, in other sorts of life. But this is a key habitat that is that is important to the Lilian lovebirds. And if there's a threat to the species, the biggest threat is the loss of habitat. And, and we've seen it that it's happening, visiting all the different countries where it's distributed and you see that Mopani woodlands are being cleared, Mopani woodlands are going, and you wonder what's going to happen uh, to this woodland. Here in the Wanda National Park, it's, we are safe because this woodland type is within a national park. Another thing that I think people need is what is important is to really raise the profile of the species. As you know, most people, they sort of take the big animals, elephants, and those are the flagship things. But these are things that you see all the time. This is a very special bird. It's a small parrot. I think we need to raise the profile. People need to know about it. When we've walked around here in Luanda in the villages and, and told them, asked them about it, they know about the bird. But you know, they don't really feel like it's something special. But when you tell them, do you know that in Malawi, you can only see this bird here in Luanda National Park? Everybody in Malawi who wants to see this bird has to come to Luanda. So that's sort of raising the profile for this bird so that people know there's a special bed for it and people will care more and want to do something about it more. So I think that's also an important thing. A lot of poachers used to poison water holes for them to catch what they want. But when you have poisoned a water hole, Lily and lovebirds have a, a habit of coming to drink in large numbers at one water hole. And when they find a water hole that has been poisoned, it means that hole, hundreds of them who die at that point. And we've seen this sort of scenes here in Luanda a number of times. But now, obviously, with the, the new management that is in, we have a much better, you know, security and the number of poisoning of water holes that is, in, in, you know, happening in the park is going down, which is really a really good thing for the for the lovebirds. And in terms of the habitat itself, obviously, in, in the park, we, we had lots of elephants, as you know, and they also take down, they also eat mopani for, for themselves, and they take out down trees. And that was a threat, but that also has been addressed in terms of having them the elephants move. So these are the kind of things, I guess, that we need happening throughout the, the region. So it's not just about protecting here in Luan, the National Park, but also in the other parts where the species is occurring and having people, you know, respect. And I think it's something that has to be across border. So something that has to be agreed on between governments. Because like here in Malawi, Mopani woodland is protected. Mopani wood, I can say, is protected because Tanya is a red list species for Malawi where people should not harvest it, which is good. But in the other countries, this is not the case. And people get legal licenses to harvest Mopani. And this is a threat to this species. And we could see this very special bird disappearing in our lifetime, which would be rather sad for me, I think.
Another thing that we are also trying to do is to understand more about its biology. So where does it breed? For example, at the moment we are trying to to see whether because we know they breed in Mopani woods. Trees, they have to be big trees, they have to be widely spaced, the holes have to be at least six meters above the ground. So understanding that we can sort of see okay, what else. Let's say in the case that Mopani woodland did disappear and this woodland was cleared, would these beds take artificial nest holes? So we're trying to now study whether they would take, you know, if we put a nest box, an artificial one, in a tree, would love birds also take it? Because this will also help us to understand and also plan for their conservation in the case that nothing is done about the loss of Mopani woodland. So that's really important. It's just studying the ecology, and that's what we've been trying to do here in the park and understand what they eat, what what they need when they when they are breeding, and what they drink, and all sorts of small small things about their life that is important for us to be able to conserve them. So that is all what Dr. Gawa brought us uh, in this episode. Uh, but the most important thing to take away is that uh, the love beds are near threatened, which means we have to do a lot to make sure that the habitat is protected. Unfortunately, the only place uh, which the species is protected is the national park. So which means those in Manage of National Park, they need our support to make sure that the species is protected. Until then, let's meet in another episode. Damn. Uh.